Hi everyone, it is September 14, 2018. I'm going to try to get through this as quickly as possible, but I want to show you some things. This is the mimic map and the frequencies that are <laughs> going through the Atlantic are pretty intense. And it's not just this massive frequency that is taking place in the middle of the Atlantic, but we've got frequencies being set off well, here it looks like a Wi-Fi signal. Right up here you'll see all of the lines. A major pulse right there. And these half signals, half circles, are frequencies. And you have a, what looks like a Wi-Fi signal microwaves being sent right on down through here. Right there. One more time. They are right here. Pushing. Ah, this uh, pushing down this moisture wave right here. And we also have frequencies right down here, South Africa, not the country, but the continent. A whole lot of frequencies going on. Now, I have posted a lot of videos on extremely low frequencies, modulated with high frequencies from radar, and when they use these extremely low frequencies that you are seeing right here fanned out in the supposed hurricane, all of these very defined lines that you're seeing, when you modulate the high frequencies with the extremely low frequencies, what can you do? Well, you can create earthquakes, you can create cyclones, you can create localized heating. And I want to bring your attention to what are not perfect circles, but the eye wall seems to take on a circular pattern and the precipitation as it vanishes that's from the high frequency heating taking place in this storm. All right. Myrtle Beach. Wow, you should be really getting it now, right? Don't you think? You see, even the, the heavier precipitation coming down is straight lined. But what does Myrtle Beach look like? Here's Myrtle Beach. There's some wind. And, well, the beach, it looks like there's a lot of humidity taking place at Myrtle Beach right now. And that's why the camera is so uh, clouded. There are some winds the beach right here is not showing 83 or 100 foot or 50 foot waves. What we are seeing really is, well, not very big waves at all. Let me refresh this, see if I can get, because it just was much clearer than it is now. But we don't have any flooding taking place. And there does seem to be some strong winds. So, uh, this is being now depicted as a deadly hurricane. Apparently two people have died from this hurricane. Time 
magazine is reporting that Florence is pounding the Carolinas. The Carolinas? Well, it doesn't look like we're getting pounded, especially since M Myrtle Beach now is, it should just be devastated. And we're not seeing that. Sorry that this webcam is not very clear. I also want to just look at Manteo, North Carolina. Clearly, now this is right on the ocean, Manteo. No flooding, and it's, well, it looks even dry. Clearly, a lot of people have evacuated, but you just saw people walking in. No homes are flooded. And this is live. It's not a still picture because you can see this flag moving about. Okay? Manteo Beach. Not 24 hours later, Manteo got slammed with Hurricane um, Florence. And I'll bring you right there. Wow. Okay. So, Manteo, Nags Head, Kill Devil Hills, Corolla, you really did get hit hard. So, yeah, you're looking pretty good here. Um, and there is a another webcam, and I thought I had pulled up, but wait one sec. This is at 4 o'clock, real time, it's 4 o'clock, on my computer, live webcam, Bald's Head Island, this is the ferry, live webcam, and, well, you got some wind, but everything looks intact, and the water yeah, there are ripples in it. All right. Where is Bald Head? Bald Head is south of Wilmington. It's in between Myrtle Beach and Wilmington. And, well, you should be getting really slammed right now because you're pretty much right smack in the eye of the hurricane. Bald Head. All right, it's a surreal world we are living. And we know how much mainstream media lies, but apparently Americans are glued to it, cemented to it, and they're just going to listen. Hurricane Florence continues to barrel across the Carolina coast, threatening the area with high winds and major storm surge. Aaron Rigsby is one of the storm chasers tracking Florence in North Carolina. He's covered several major storms, including Hurricanes Harvey and Matthew. He ducked into the safety of a parking garage to join us by phone. Good morning. Wow, drama queens. Hurricane Florence is making landfall after thrashing the Carolinas all night long with devastation. Thrashing the Carolinas all night long. Devastating flooding and damaging winds. Devastating flooding and damaging winds. It's like a bomb has gone off here. Where? Where, ABC News? Stranded residents on rooftops. That's one of the things that, that was another article, but stranded residents hunkered down as Florence hammers North Carolina New Bern well, New Bern did get some flooding. This is the flooding in New Bern. Well, okay. 
seems not to be that bad. People are walking in the water, so the currents, you know, they're not needing to rope one another and hold on to one another. And I guess the Cajun Rescue, uh, Navy Rescue, well, they have an elderly person. But they're claiming that um, that people were resorted, uh, they were left with just going to social media, hundreds, hundreds, posting on social media that they needed help. This is Newburn. Huffington Post reports that some residents of the riverfront city of New Bern, North Carolina, who ignored evacuation orders, were awaiting rescue early Friday. They were trapped at their homes by Hurricane Florence's wind and heavy rains. The city tweeted that about 150 people were waiting to be rescued. Watercraft manned by two out-of-state Federal Emergency Management Agency teams, the City Fire Department, and the volunteer Cajun Navy were assisting in moving stranded people to safety. Crowdsource Rescue is a Twitter account devoted to making sure people reach safety. According you notice how these homes are not flooded. Now some water might have come in, but the water has already receded. And this is the bad flooding they're talking about. All right, the images that mainstream media is showing for now 24 hours are the exact same images over and over and over again. This is a park in New Bern where I saw a reporter last night in a video and they were reporting right from New Bern right at this park and that's what's being shown over and over and over again. But they're talking, they're talking, uh, well it looked like a bomb went off, really. Well, this is certainly a slap in the face to those who lived through Katrina and Harvey. This, I, I spent a long time last night and this morning trying to get an accurate assessment of what was going on in North Carolina, and I have not been able to get one. I think the most ac accurate uh, assessment is... <laughs> is that not much happened. This is the most destructive image that I've come across. Sorry. I will have to break it back. Um, Bellhaven, North Carolina. So this is the most destructive I've seen. This image of Bellhaven, North Carolina over and over. It's, it's on all mainstream media, the exact same video you will see. And I have tried hard to find, all right, Bellhaven, massive flooding, right? I did a search. This is the only thing that I can find. The only thing. This home, this flooding, up to the windows, uh, but I, I have not. There's no art. There's nothing. If you can find something, leave a link below. All right. So, uh, that's it on Bellhaven, New Bern. They keep repeating that same image from the park, and they're repeating the same images over and over again this street being flooded on the coast of North Carolina they're just repeating it now if there was such destruction if it looked like a bomb went off why aren't we seeing images like that instead what we are seeing well Manteo right on the coast you got it bad Right? Last night? Oh. Let's try. Again. 
Mentor. Let's, all right, here we go. So the flag is still moving about, but completely drawn. Look, guys, you know, this lying really has to stop. I don't, I can't believe, I, I, I honestly don't. So here we have live broadcast from time. And what are we seeing? We've seen worse flooding from just the flash flooding that has occurred over the months throughout the country. And yeah, do I think that they could be staging these rescues of dogs and things? Yeah, I do. I really do. Where did the, the, these, this, where did they get the dogs? Um, I'm not saying that no homes got flooded. I'm not saying that areas didn't get a lot of rain. What I am saying is that mainstream media is hyping this so badly. It is so disgusting. It looks like a bomb went off. Now, it's not just mainstream media. We have a real problem. I, I want to read something to you that was sent to me by a subscriber. Now, this is on uh, some bones, someone's bones. Media bribed North Carolina residents to exaggerate Hurricane Florence. When I read articles, I want to be able to uh, verify what is being said. So when you have no names reported, you can't verify anything. When you have names, you're better uh, able to verify. Now, also this picture, this is Houston. This is not North Carolina. Sorry, not North Carolina. I've seen this, this picture so many times. Okay. Bribed North Carolina residents to exaggerate Hurricane Florence. Dolores Quiddle, a resident of Carolina Beach, North Carolina, said a CNN camera crew visited her home at 9.30 a.m. Thursday morning. They were interviewing locals who refused to heed evacuation orders. Quoting Mrs. Quiddle, now we have a name, we have an area where she lives. That can be verified. I didn't verify it, but I'm just saying it could be verified. They wanted to know why we wouldn't listen to state orders to leave. I told the truth. We have survived many storms here. Our whole life is in our house, our belongings, our family, our pets. The news people seemed upset that we were so calm. They said if the storm, uh, if the storm doesn't end up being so bad, can you at least pretend it was? We will interview afterward and would appreciate it if you could embellish a story that you and your family barely survived the storm. That's what they wanted me to do. Quiddle refused. The interviewer offered $750 in cash for that fictitious testimony. And when she said no again, they had the nerve to offer my husband the same deal. We asked them to leave. Then they got angry, saying several neighbors had agreed to do it. I know my neighbors. Few stayed behind. And I know those who did would never lie for money. We are good people. A uh, Moorhead City couple corroborated Mrs. Quiddle's story. John and Dana Plinkett, uh, lifelong residents of the North Carolina coastal community, said a local ABC News affiliate crew showed up at their home while they were placing sandbags around their property. We told them... We survived. Andrew, uh, they survived. Floyd, Irma, 
We made it through those. We'll make it through this. When I said Florence was now only a paltry Category 2 storm and was no big deal, they got upset. They tried to impress upon us that the storm is a killer, that no matter what, we ought to treat it as such. When I shrugged it off, they got even angrier. We told them to get the hell out of our home. Much like the case of Miss Quiddle, the camera crew tried to bribe the Plinkets with $1,000 to tell a fantastic tale. Regardless of the water level, they wanted us to go to our roof, spray paint SOS on it, so they could fly overhead in a helicopter and see us frantically begging for help. We declined. All right, so this article goes on to say, unfortunately, Hurricane Florence's fury was overstated or overestimated, was not overestimated. At the time of this writing, 400,000 people are without, well, it's now um, about 600,000 people are without power. And then they write, and up to 10 trillion gallons of rain are expected to fall on North Carolina. Really? Well, how did you measure that before it fell? Wow. Um, so, yes, there are an awful lot of people without power. And I had an article on that, but it doesn't seem to be up. Look, I've had to reboot my computer three times. I've had such problems just getting up this video. So, understand this. I posted a video on 5,000 without power before Hurricane Florence hit. Hurricane Irma. I had an awful lot of subscribers who lived in Florida leaving comments. Our power was turned off hours before Irma hit. Now, I'm not saying that no power lines came down. Look. Have I not been showing you these extremely low frequencies being set off all over the country? Extremely low frequencies, they can go up into the atmosphere, they are directional, and especially from Gwen Tower's ground wave emergency network, ground wave frequencies. They're loosening up the ground. And I believe that these extremely low frequencies are causing a lot of the sinkholes, that we're seeing, and a lot of the um, roads just collapsing, the flash flooding. Suddenly, all the roads are collapsing, or bridges are collapsing. These extremely low frequencies, when they can create a earthquake, high power, extremely low frequency radiation generated by modulated high frequency heating of the ionosphere can cause earthquakes, cyclones localized heating, well, you will have an awful lot of talk about a ripple effect of these frequencies, but you also have all of the geoengineering, the dumping of chemicals, heavy metals, nanoparticulates that are going, that are killing the trees. Then you have weakened trees that collapse now you don't even have to have wind, but a little bit of wind, well, then you're going to see a lot of trees down, and they topple over power lines. So all of this destruction, it's not coming about naturally. It's not Mother Nature. It is not God. It is man using weather as a weapon. So here, Fayette, Fayetteville, uh, braces for flooding. Now, this is really interesting. And where is that video? Sorry, guys. Uh, here. A subscriber left me the link to one of Carol's World videos. And this video, now, this is what upsets me. My computer crashed. I had open windows. And one of the windows that I had open was of Carol's World video. And it was the exact same video 
only a different title. Carol's World had posted this video. Now it's five hours ago. <laughs> well, that shows you. I got here when it was only posted one hour ago. Florence causes flooding emergency because I had my window open for a while and I clicked on this video except the title was something about uh, Florence causes flooding a family cuts hole in roof to escape flooding or something like that and I thought okay that's really interesting considering that all of the, the research that I was doing I could not come up with anything that showed me that wow it looked like a bomb hit or that people were cutting holes in their roof to escape the flooding that was the title of this video she changed the title so this video here Fayetteville a little bit of brain and this was posted very soon after, oh, by the way, this is the live camera from the Outer Banks, North Carolina. And they got hit last night pretty bad. This is live. As you can see, the waves are rolling in. The, everything's up. Everything is intact. Intact. So this woman is claiming that families were cutting holes in their roof to get out. All right. And this is also... This is the rain in Fayetteville today, earlier. Almost no Roofs wind at all. are flying off. The 300,000 people are without the 300, power. 300,000 people are without power. I want you to listen to this because, you know, I have to wonder what the hell is going on. When you have, when you've read an article that our CNN or ABC crews are bribing residents to embellish their experience of this storm and then you come across a video like roofs this. are flying off Roof the boards that they off. use the to board up they use to board against up. their windows against have flown off their windows, their windows are blowing out blown their windows not are everywhere blown off. but most places from Wrightsville Beach but most places to Wrightsville Fayetteville Beach. Even Hope Mills, Fayetteville. Hope Mills, no Even power. Hope Mills, Hope flooding, Mills, no immense power. flooding has already flooding. started. So far in Fayetteville, we have power. And only a little bit of flooding is starting where I'm at. All right. Um, look, perhaps what, I, what we just heard is true. I don't know. But we need people on the ground now to verify it. And we do know that there's an awful lot of Americans who would take money to lie. And that is the problem that we have, the ordinary, ordinary Americans who lie. So, you know, we're just in a lying country that, and that well, I think it should upset everybody, but it certainly upsets me. So here is I'm over here Jim on Climate Lane. Viewer 3D, I'm over and, here this on Viewer 3D. and this is what I noticed today. And this is what I noticed today. And as you'll see, and as you'll there's see, something kind of interesting going on here. There's something kind of interesting. So going on here. here's, Hurricane Florence. So here's um, Hurricane Florence. I currently, Florence. Have, in um, I currently have in my map list a whole lot of different layers up. Next red to operate our stations. Track line forecast, center position forecast, forecast, the next red base forecast, reflectivity. The that's the rainfall stuff you see here. And, rainfall here. and all the nuclear reactors of the world. And what I noticed was. 
And what I noticed that, was yeah, this that, this sucker comes in yeah, and heads this, straight this for station in KLX in, in Wilmington, North Carolina. Our LTX, excuse me. And then he goes directly over my house. Um, as you can see here, I live in Sumter, um, South Carolina. <laughs> so then he goes and makes a, a turn right <laughs> so here and and heads right up here to the next next red station. Next, which is in Columbia, and that is, is next red station GSP, and, and then it makes a hard GSP, right, and then it, and then it heads up right. here between stations JKL and RLX, and makes another RLX. right, and what and you know it, it continues on up here. Continues on up here. It's following the radar stations. I will link below to everything, and you can watch the full video here. The next red, next red, harp rings come out of radar stations. That's the high frequency heating. So uh, you, what, what are you seeing right here? You are seeing high frequency heating. The red of this supposed hurricane, the deep, deep red, which is in the eye, that's the high frequency heating taking place. And then you have the extremely low frequencies modulated with the high frequencies causing localized heating and the ruptures around the eye, closer to the eye of the hurricane, and one Pacific Redwood explains Back to the that floater well. map, and we can see what's uh, going on here. Map, we can see what's uh, going on here. A hole was blown into the side of this a storm. Was blown right into there, the we see side of this big storm. area right there. We of, see uh, big that void area. right there. Uh, the eye wall has been disrupted. Right there. The eye we can wall really see this disrupted. in the uh, visible light map we can right really here. see this in the uh, visible light map. I'm going right to go right ahead here. and stop this loop and we'll scroll through I'm it go uh, frame by frame. We'll scroll through you can see the very frame beginning of this frame. sequence. You can see the very right here is where the storm sequence. was targeted. The eye wall is right approximately in this area. The eye wall it's already been disrupted. This area. And so we see the satellite transmitter so targeting this area. We see an expanding pressure wave right there where the water vapor has been superheated. Water vapor has been uh, super. See that expand out, and then we have that big see void that, that we just out, saw in, in the uh, that big infrared map. Saw in, in the uh, infrared map. All right, let's go ahead and uh, run this. All right, let's go ahead and uh, run this. All right, I will link below. You can watch the the full uh, video of one Pacific Redwood. That is what is taking place right here. High frequency heating with extremely low frequencies. To bring about destruction. But they may have failed, but of course, oh my god, We've got to pretend like it was devastating. So you get you get headlines like this. It's like a bomb has gone off here. We need ordinary people in North Carolina to be posting videos. And unfortunately, when you do a search now on YouTube, wow, you really get the authoritative news. You know how YouTube wants to make sure that you get authoritative news. Last night I'm trying to find just regular people posting and I did come across one. Here, Michelle Midnight. Michelle Midnight, Hurricane Florence. She is I'm in from Wilmington. Florence in Wilmington, North Carolina, where you have seen uh, the world of reporters reporting. Uh, I can't add much, but I can quote what I've been hearing is that there's been flooding all over Carolina Beach. 
I'm sure uh, Riceville Beach is not great right now. Uh, downtown, the tide was going out when down there earlier this evening, and it was going to be very fast, so when it comes back in, it's not going to be pretty. The inner wall is not going to be hitting us for a while, but we thought like 2 in the morning, I heard it's going to be much later than that. So. All right. Well, we saw Wilmington, Carol's World, uh, today, and we didn't see any flooding. And I, after seeing this video last night, I went on in telecast, and as far as I could see from the satellite images, from the radar images, how this woman could be standing outside in Wilmington, I don't know. Um, so, yeah, yeah, it gets very confusing. She did do this video, reporting on reporters. And it sounds like this guy is from France. You can hardly hear him. I am speaking in French, I think. Um, so, yeah, German and English and French reporters, all mainstream reporters. Isn't it interesting how we have these mainstream reporters who are allowed in to areas where the public are not, and they report solely on what is taking place, and we're getting very conflicting reports. So the wind here in uh, Anderson, South Carolina, just picked up, but this hurricane is nowhere in sight. All right, guys, you know, look, wind speed, Ocean Isle Beach, North Carolina, 29 miles per hour. Let's try to get another area. Pauley's Island, South Carolina. Wind speed, 25 miles per hour. Myrtle Beach, wind speed, 32 miles per hour. All right. I'm not saying that no homes got flooded, that the two people that ABC News is claiming died. I'm not saying they didn't die. I'm not saying that. What I am saying is something is very wrong with mainstream media reporting. Something is very wrong with lying. <laughs> it's really not okay. Lying, as far as I'm concerned, is the worst thing that you can do. Because the ripple effect of lies cause such destruction. So any of you who lie, Please try to work out, try to understand why it is that you lie, and don't do it again, please, because the damage is really great. I'll link below to everything, but what, you know, to those who are Yeah, leaving comments. They can't do that. How can they do that? Method for controlling hurricanes. Method for controlling hurricanes by raising temperature in the eye. That's why you see. And I tried to blow this up. I can't because I lose the hurricane completely. Tried to zoom in. But that's why you see all of the high frequency heating right at the eye because they're controlling this hurricane and hurricane and tornado control device a method is disclosed for affecting the formation and or direction of low atmospheric weather system audio generators are positioned to project sound waves toward a peripheral area of a weather system and I've shown you the microwaves did I not hold on alright this I captured last night you see the concentric 
neck thread harp rings coming out of the Raleigh area. These are the high frequency heating. And if you take a look at the periphery of the storm, you'll see microwave frequencies. Right there. You see these lines? And they go throughout the periphery of the storm. They're using the frequencies at the periphery to control the storm. All right, guys. It's whoever has been doing this for like <laughs> years and years hats off to you. See this defined line over here and you can see how you know all the, the frequencies coming through the entire thing is really remarkable but up here Roanoke you'll see another flash of a next red harp ring. Whoops. All right, maybe I just thought I saw that. Yes, right here, concentric heart. Next right, rings coming out of radar stations to control the hurricane. The sound waves are generated at a frequency to affect the formation of the weather system in a manner to disrupt, enhance, or direct the formation. The sound waves can also be projected in a manner to cause the system to produce rain.